this is the day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. God bless. Love you. Hey everybody, glad you're back. And I'm praying that you continue to take heed to the, the taking the six feet distance when you're out in public from one another. I'm praying that you continue to wash your hands, uh, wash your face. And until you do that, don't touch your face, uh, your mouth, and so forth. And that's something to just keep everybody in prayer for that. Uh, but just, just, just understand that in, in the next two weeks, Apparently, this thing is going to at least start showing its, its ugly face on the people who have already been affected. And then we want to hopefully, by these social distances, uh, that we'll be able to at least arrest the movement of this disease because the disease needs you to transfer it to another person in order for it to continue to survive. What we want to do is kill it. And uh, that's what we want to focus on. And, 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 and recently I heard the, uh, first, first of all, the, in the United States, the death toll is 8,400 some on the just going to 8,500 uh, have died. And it's closely, it's moving in on at least uh, 10,000. And the models that they were talking about, we're talking about with this, I guess, the peak of 100,000 as a good number believe that to the worst number worst case of 200 some 204 200,000 people dying or more uh, those are not acceptable period but the thing is that if we, we have a responsibility to try to take heed to keep distance from one another in the public and stay home and pray you know that's the emphasis stay home Pray, stay home, read the Word of God, stay home, look at worship services on videos and tapes and like YouTube and stuff like that. Pray. Get to know your family. Pray. Stay home. Pray. I'm telling you, man, let's let's go ahead and at least put this thing and arrest this thing. Alright? Uh, and I also saw recently that was talking about there's some ministries that still want to have services. And the only thing I can just tell you is that yes you lay hands on the sick they should recover yes you cover by the blood of jesus yes but also remember that god gives us wisdom and be supposed to be led by the holy spirit if it's the holy spirit is leading you to say this is a cure that we're going to do for our members and the congregation or this is how your church does and say we're going to deal with this by laying hands I just want to make sure and pray, and I'm praying that your pastor and you are led by the Holy Spirit, that if you want to go that route. But just understand, the recommendation is stay home and pray. Amen? If you're going to lay hands on somebody, lay hands on somebody in your home. Amen? Uh, but don't go into a burning house unless you're led by the Holy Spirit. Now, I assume that he leads you in the house because it's because somebody you can save. But if it's if that's not what you're receiving, if that's not what the Holy Spirit is telling you, I think you need to take heed of what the Holy Spirit is saying. Pray for your pastors, pray for your leadership, and make sure they also be led by the Holy Spirit, not by pride, not by the fact of loving to come together, because you can come together corporately in spirit, and you can do that from your home. So I'm saying is pray in your home. Stay in your home. And understand, be led by the Holy Spirit. And now I want to show you because I want you to another thing too. You want to you don't want to tempt the Lord uh, because you said I'm covered by the blood of Jesus. You want to be led by the Holy Spirit, and you don't want to tempt Him when you don't have to tempt Him. And I'll give you a good example. And Christ is our example. This is in Matthew chapter four. Let's read that. Remember the temptation of Christ, eh? Amen. It says right here, Matthew chapter four, starting in verse one. Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. I mean, look at it. It was led by the Holy Spirit. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterward hungered. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command these stones to be made bread. 
But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Amen. That should have said, that should have told the devil going about your business. Amen. <laughs> the devil tries to insert a, a what do we call it a malware into in the, to the system. Uh, verse five. Then Jesus. Then the devil takes him up into the holy city and settles him on the pinnacle of the temple. And he said unto him, If thou be the Son of God. Now see, that's another thing. And that's, uh, that's not only for the devil. That's for people to try to question your salvation. Saying, If thou be saved, <laughs> if thou be the Son of God. <laughs> yes, I am the Son of God. Yes, I am saved. Because the Word says I am and I receive the Holy Spirit. Don't let somebody tell you if. Ain't no if in it. Ain't no, it's not an if. It is. Amen? Just remember that. Because that's how people come after you. If you be. Mm-mm. Don't come to me telling me about if. Is. Is what it's about. Amen? He said unto me, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down, for it is written, He should give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they should bear thee up, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. This devil was trying to get the man, trying to get Jesus to commit suicide. And that's what the enemy tried to do for us. So don't forget, you. it's not just... Jesus being tempted because, see, we're supposed to be uh, Christians, Christ-like, and therefore there will be temptation that comes up in questioning you and your faith. And in this particular case is the devil would do question, challenge your faith to the point of saying, go ahead and kill yourself. Go run out of the street and do that. Go ahead and, 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 and fly off the building because you know the, you, you, you're safe, right? Because if you are, you can do these things. But... One of the things is just is just remember what the scripture said. He was tempted, and and Jesus responded. So let's go back and let's go back again. And he said in verse six, he said to him, uh, "Excuse me, what is it? Let's go six again." So I ran my mouth too much. He said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hand they shall bear thee up in hand, lest any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. Jesus said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. And I'm saying the same thing. Don't go out there and tempting God because you say I'm covered by the blood. Be led by the Holy Spirit. Look at that. Even again. Again. Verse 8, the devil takes him up into an exceedingly high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them. And he said unto him, all these things will I give thee if thou will fall down and worship me. That's what the devil wants. He wants you to fall down. He wants you to go through some, he'll try to challenge you to do something stupid and then get to the point of saying, look, I'm a, I'm, I give you all this glory if you do these type of things. All you have to do is worship me. What Jesus said. Jesus said, Then said Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shall thy serve. Then the devil leaveth him, and behold, angels came and ministered to him. So the point is that you, you need to respond by the word of God. You need to be led by the Holy Spirit. And if you led by the Holy Spirit and go by the word of God, you won't go into places that is on fire. You won't go into a place that got a bunch of pestilence in there unless you're led by the Holy Spirit. So it's not a question about whether you got faith. You, it's a question whether you're being led. And that's what God is trying to say. So I want you to enjoy this video and understand that the enemy, he tries to, it's just almost just like a, uh, the, the computers that we have in life, you know? And in those computers, we, we have an operating system and, and, and we have all types of software in it. And we go from the beginning, when the computer, uh, uh, us as computers were produced, the, the devil came in and hacked the system. And he put in the, some malware in the system and it caused it to crash. But God had an answer. And that answer was Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ became the patch to get the system rock operating again. And once you got the patch in, you could, you're connected again, in the internet, in this case, to the kingdom of God. And from that point on, you receive updates for your operating system. Amen? Update for the software in your system. And you also remember another thing, too, is you receive the Holy Spirit. It's the firewall. 
that allows you to be able to filter those things that don't line up with the Word of God. It's, it's just as simple as that. If it don't line up with the Word of God, it's not, it's not, it's not something that you're supposed to respond to. You're supposed to respond to those things that you're programmed to do, which is being led by the Holy Spirit. And if some man or some person try to operate outside of that, or try to tempt you to do something outside of what God tells you to do, refer back to the manual. Just like if your computer mess up, you refer back to the manual. Same thing here. Refer back to the Word of God. Be led by the Holy Spirit. Don't tempt. Don't be tempted to do something that you're not supposed to do. You'll show wisdom. Amen? Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this video. And I want you to pray. Stay at home. Pray. Stay at home. Pray. Stay at home. God bless you. And I hope to listen to the next video coming up. Amen? Alright, God bless. Bye-bye. Except information. The mouth world is information. They receive mouth world. Other God. Come on. When they accepted that, inf that information from that site that they should not have been uh, logged into in first place, it, it came yeah. in and corrupted the programming. It came in and corrupted the program. It cut them off from the source. It messed them up. So now they begin to function in a manner that's manifested now, even in us, that killed everything. <laughs> 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 Chip just blew up. Come on. Computer didn't know which place you could go in. Come on. And that's what's happening with it. You're operating affected by the malware. Exactly. And what it tells us is that uh, any source of information other than God. Come on. Corrupt. Come on. Come on. Stay off of these other sites. Come on. But we come and visit those other sites and we take information <laughs> from them and then try to process it. And the output of it is, is corrupt information. Oh, we manifest man. it because of, I mean, and we manifest it. It's not like we just do it. We do it. We we portray it. We become that. We become Whatever that. Whatever is affected that hard drive is going to manifest itself in operation. Oh Lord, and that's what it is. It's a site oh, of Lord. information in your hard drive, conforming that hard drive to meet whatever image it is that you need. I'm telling you that that that's a good analogy right there. That is because <laughs> Satan was not the malware. Satan was the hacker. Woo. Okay. <laughs> the malware was the knowledge of good and evil. Okay. Amen. So the hacker tried to to access <laughs> program and he was unsuccessfully up to a point. Woo! Yes, he was. But once that 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 software yes sir allow that hacker in yes sir then that hacker was able to get because you can't get malware unless you click uh -huh. on something okay so okay it, yes sir you get a pop up and you go that way <laughs> you, you go down that road so they actually accepted the, the 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 malware <laughs> so that that and that that's what's crazy because we always look at, at at satan as the malware yes sir yes sir he's just a hacker he's just, he's just a hacker, hacker. <laughs> and, uh, and what what maybe maybe i'll call ministries ministries are just different companies aol cox verizon <laughs> But you know, what the, the crazy thing right. is, you really are right. <laughs> he never had any power, and he still doesn't. All he had was the ability to use the power that we had. Yes, sir. That's Once all he does. No different than a hacker. Exactly. A hacker can only use what your your resources is when you give it to him. Come you on. Give him access. Come on. Yeah. Come on. And so and that's still his position. Mm. We just got to figure out how to sever that connection of that hacker. And that is Jesus Christ. Amen. And, 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 and then the problem is that back door is still there even after you accept the patchwork, which is Christ. But it's the continually renewing of the mind. <laughs> 
is closing that back door. Well, what's the thing about it? What, what, you, what you need is, is you need that software called the Holy Spirit, which is that yeah. Norton utility or that Mac V or whatever you want to call yeah. that protects you and has become the firewall. Huh? That's it. You, the, you, 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 the Holy the Spirit firewall. is the That's firewall it. as long as you are subscribing to the right network. Yes. You know what I mean? And it always needs updates. Exactly. And look, and another problem is sometimes we do have too many subscriptions and uh and uh and uh and what we're what we're receiving. In other words, if you're subscribing to the wrong channel, you're gonna get input from those channels. Some things you subscribe to, you're gonna have to what you call what you call when you don't want to subscribe to something anymore. What you do? Would you want to get rid of a subscription? You uninstall. Oh, you, 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 you uninstall. Oh yeah, you uninstall the software too, right? If you got a certain pack, a certain thing you're subscribing to, you unsubscribe to it. Or if you got something that has been put into your app, if you got an app that, that, that that's messing something up, you want to uninstall that app. In some cases, we do that, but then sometimes we reinstall, because that's what you can do, right? You can reinstall an application. And that's where we sometimes, we ain't got no business reinstalling, but we have a tendency to put some apps in that we don't need to be put in there, right? But it is a, that is a heavenly principle to the millennia of how the Christianity is all about. And then for the church, the different churches the different uh what you call it packages there brother jackson you get you get you know cox i got cox i may have a i may have verizon you know i may have different application ministries that are supposed to be feeding me the gospel and teaching me helping me learn and if i don't if they're not doing the right thing i need to unsubscribe to that particular application in my software right amen and, and that's what God is trying to say. So I think that's a good, that is a good principle you guys can use as far as how we as Christians are supposed to operate with one another and understand what's going on with one another. Huh? The, the beauty of it is that there's nothing going to change uh, about the appearance of that, that computer. The heart, uh, the, the, uh, uh, no, he did. No, he did. You're right. The computer, the hardware, unless you get new hardware. <laughs> The hardware doesn't change. <laughs> the hardware is going to maintain its initial. Woo! I mean, it's, it's, it's configuration, but it's going to be the information that's flowing through it that's going to cause the change of, of, of the computer, the way it operates. And that's the same thing. And I think that when we begin to look at our lives, like I mean, it doesn't matter what color the keyboard is or what the configuration of the mouse wow, is. Wow, wait a minute. Or, or whatever. What, the, what really determines is what kind of program you got running inside of that Woo! computer. What is it? And I think what we have done historically is we tried to change the color of the computer or we need a flat screen computer or we need one of these CRTs and we got to get another kind of mouse and we're going to be all right. Hey. No, it doesn't matter what you externally look like. Hey. What matters is what you are, what you look like on the inside. What the configuration of your hard drive is. What information that you downloaded on it. So that is what's really going to determine how you function. That's really and what we have done on a, on a note, like you were saying before. Uh, people look at how you look. Uh, how you look like this? You know, Jesus was hanging out with the sinners, or uh, you over there in the bar. And they, they're looking at the external configuration of the, the hardware and saying, like, that's who you are. They got to get to know you. You aren't that person. Hey, that's hey. not the computer. <laughs> you are what's operating on that hard drive. You're the system that downloaded it, not the configuration of that box. Hey. So, and, and so now we can begin to focus on changing our, what can we say, changing our configuration at that level. Hey, hey, look, I was wondering. We really begin to identify with changing the spiritual aspect of who we are. Right. What are we downloading our spirit? Because, you know, when I'm looking at that 10 or that 12, I'm going to look the same. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if Joseph walked naked, with big, fat, and black, and he hit his mind was on Jesus. Uh, how did he act? He act like this. He was in there, he was big, fat, and black, and his mind was on the 10. He's going to act a lot different. <laughs> hey, hey, brother, brother, 
ass and you. I'm a hard guy. I've been corrupted. You know what I'm saying? I'm taking, I'm taking some input from the devil. You know. Wait a minute. And that's that's what's important. Now wait a minute. That I was just. That's a good point there. I was wondering though, brother, brother Allison, we can't get an upgrade on the hardware too, can't we? Yeah. <laughs> but, but it won't change the information on Instagram. <laughs> well, I, well, well, I wanted to. I thought if I get a better processing speed. <laughs> You know, I was also thinking, see, now I have a computer. I need more RAM. I need more memory right. so that my my my, my program can yes. run more effectively. Woo. There, uh, sometimes we have so much information uh -huh. that there's no room to, 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 to add anything. Come on. You know, you have no space to add the up update, yes, sir, or or anything like that because it's just it's just too much information on there. So we either need to 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 make space, right, or add space. Add space. So I think <laughs> the Holy Spirit is the space maker. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> He's an upgrader. I think he can he can upgrade yeah. he, he can upgrade the hardware or he can go ahead and upgrade the, the software. But it's constantly so he, upgrading. He's like uh like like one of those those I, I can't remember the name of the person that advertised, but uh you purchase them and they monitor your system. Yes, sir. To prevent malware from coming in. Come out. You know, they 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 get rid of all the bad. And they Are you talking about life lock? Life lock and North. Yeah, and that is operating at at, at at its best capacity and everything like that. So <laughs> it, it's just so much in this. It in is. This analogy. <laughs> But but it's so there. Terrible. It is so much, right? Because don't forget, even if you take it now from a computer, you can take it from a the cell phone. Your cell phone continuously keep getting upgraded. By yeah, fact, yeah. they they tell you, and they they transfer everything that was on the old phone onto the new one. Yeah. Cause they constantly but upgraded, you know, huh? When they, when they upgraded the next morning, the phone looked the same. <laughs> the, screen, the, screen, the screen display might have changed, but the hard the configuration of that phone today, who is a Galaxy Seven, is still gonna be a Galaxy Seven. Yes, okay. But it's gonna operate a little different. When you plop pop the uh, time to turn it on, the screen manifestation may be a little different. The screen display may be a little different, but basically the hardware doesn't change. Yeah. And then I think, and we begin to look at the well, what kind of phone do you have? What update do you have? And I think then we begin to look more on the spiritual level. Yes, sir. When we're looking at each other. I'm just the hardware. I mean, I'm yeah. on the phone. I'm yes, the Galaxy sir. 7. <laughs> Physically, that's what I am. But what program is working? You know, what downloads have I received? What malware have I downloaded? That's who I really become. Right. I become, that's, and I think when we're looking at the manifestation of our spirit, we're looking at each other at the spirit and soul level. That's what we're looking at. And, it's and, not that, it's yeah. not that vessel that you contain in, it's what's contained in that vessel. And you know what, the one, you know, what is significant about this other parable to go in there is your service provider, right? Where, where's your service coming from? If you're getting it by the Holy Spirit, then he's the one that's doing, he's taking care of the service. That's what you, you go to that help desk. If you got a question, you got an issue. You go to that for technical support, right? It's the Holy Spirit. It's who we're tapping into. So yeah, Brother Jackson, that fits right in for our millennials right there. It's understanding. That's a principle. A heavenly principle. Using earth. Yes, sir. None of those things, you can't see any of them. No. You can't, they're, they're not physically, you cannot observe them physically. Right. You can't observe the malware. You can't observe the, pro the initial program. You, there's nothing observable about the thing that really caused the computer to be what it is. Right. The only thing that we can observe is the hardware. You know what? And, and I but think the hardware did not determine what that computer is. It's actually the the, the program in the download. And you know, I think that's, that's what. And I think that's why, if you take a look at the generation to generation, Brother Jackson, is that. We're trying to try to use the same old, we, you know, we try to hold on to something of the past and try to make that fit into the present. And the only thing that really fits is the leading of the Holy Spirit and how the Holy Spirit communicates. Because Jesus used parables 
that fit back in the days that he was in. Right? Amen. But the, the problem, those problems don't all the way, those problems can easily be transformed to a modern day concept and modern day principle. What we just did was spring something from a spirit, what do you call it, a spiritual truth, a heavenly principle, and just bring it into the modern day. Because that's how he did it. Amen. You know? And we got to right, understand when, right. these, when these young people are looking at us, if we're trying to put them in a box in the past, they can't receive it. Uh-huh. And that's yeah. that that's what impacts the uh I think our witness today. Because right now we got we're gonna really need and I think somebody brought out a did y'all see any uh notes on Facebook where they're saying that not to say God so much orchestrated, but he's saying that this situation here is 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 bring people back together and look to God for help. This 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 pestilent, this this situation we're going through right now. It does does it cause people to look back or look to God when they can't find an answer uh -huh. anywhere else. Does that make sense? Uh -huh. They say it's beautiful stuff. Yeah. Because yeah. I mean what's manifesting in our society is that we're getting downloads from the wrong source. Yeah. We're getting downloads that tell people that they don't have to look at the configuration of the vessel to determine what they are. You know what? Now? Something had gotten to the thought process and said, "Okay, you have a, you know, you can be born with a what you call it, but you can be a girl if you want to be, or you can be born without one and you can be a man." That means that you have taken a look at that configuration and said, "That ain't it. That's yeah, not it. I, yeah. I, 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 you, you begin to misread the inputs. Something's wrong with that. Right. But if you program to the wrong, if you you if you connected to the wrong source or you receiving information from the wrong source." Your your output is going to be corrupted. Mm. You know, when you go when you compute, your final analysis is going to be off, and that's what we have normalized. We have having our children download information from a malware site, they, and we, we go to the porn site and we're looking at one thing, and then it downloads something else. You know, it's, it's it's gotten into our operating system, or it's affecting our operating system, and we have got to be able to not only teach the right way but we have to manifest it so that when the screen pops up they'll know something's wrong with it well here's the other thing yeah but here the other thing i'm saying is the thing is that as our society thought that we had our act together that we're and we're invincible uh we, we 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 don't need you know almost like less reliance on god and more reliance on our own abilities and way of life this 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 thing right here, like this virus that's going on right now, is saying is, I'll shut all that down. I'll shut down if you worship in sports. I'll shut it down. This is what I was reading in some of the articles said that if you if you if you're worshiping your job, I shut it down. Hey, look, if you're worshiping your ministry, your your institutions. If you're worshiping whether you're a mega ministry, whether you're what I don't care what ministry you are, I shut it down. Because it's not as powerful as me. And I want you to understand that. It's always pointing toward him. You know, ministry is supposed to do what? Point toward him. Right? Amen. And because some people sit there and say, bring the people to church so they can get saved. And that, you know, salvation. Is right then and there, right? Is that's when you, <laughs> you ain't got time to. You don't supposed to sit there and say, "Well, come on to church and uh, you, you, we're, we're gonna help you out." You in the church? It happens right there. Yeah. The, the whole purpose of ministry is equip the saints to go out and do the work of the ministry. Yeah. Maybe, maybe we would, maybe we we're getting too, 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 too comfortable and coming back to the building. Leading people back to the building instead of leading people to Christ. Amen, man. Now you're preaching. Well, <laughs> That's what we're, we're putting we're putting power in a box. Yeah. Instead of in, in where it belongs. Yeah. And that is in the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yeah. You know, there's nothing about that church that's gonna save that person. Come on. <laughs> and it, you see what I'm saying? He just he basically shut that down. He's not to say he did it orchestrated, but it's showing. You can't go there because you're putting things at risk. I mean, last week, I don't know if y'all heard, was some some ministry in uh, Louisiana or something where he was he was still having services 
and and he he said we just gonna lay hands on the people and and then that that whole that state is just going crazy as far as the virus yeah, yeah. And, and, and i think that's the funny part about it because satan used the scripture Woo. To, mislead, to, mis, to mislead uh adam and eve wow he tempted jesus with word he wow tempted jesus with word. You, you be the son of god why don't you jump out of here because they can the angels charge you to bail you up at least you dash your foot against the stone psalm 91 but then he comes back and says it, but again it is written it is written thou shall not the lord thy you god. don't tempt the lord thy so, god <laughs> if we don't go past the intellectual, what can I say, the intellectual aspect of our being, and we try to find out what righteousness is, or operating righteousness, we may we are going to fail. He said, there's a way to seem right until man, the ender of the death. You had to take the information flow from God himself. Wow. And if you had been on land, you would tell you stay home. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I say that, I, that, that that's no, for me on a personal note. No, I, I, think I felt this time. That's I tempting. I agree with you. you that's me do? that's tempting. You me <laughs> exactly. Because he said you're tempting. You're yeah. tempting God on that. The same thing we had the Mardi Gras. Didn't they have the Mardi Gras? Didn't they have the Mardi Gras recently? Yeah. And then those people. Yeah, those people. <laughs> that, A dying wholesale. It's sitting up. And yeah. those people came from all over the world, all over the country to go to Mardi Gras. Yeah. And what yeah. they do? They went out. They went back to where they came from. Those kids that went to that beach, they they going back to where they came from, taking the virus with them. 